astrophysicist, but you obviously trust climate science. You trust the modelling. It's not so much a trust. It's there are experts who perform these calculations and the models, and I am not that. That's not my expertise, but. I know what training they go through, and I know what gets invoked when they publish a research paper. And uh, w what we need to recognize here is not whether one result gives any, where one experiment or model gives any particular answer. You want to see whether there's an emergent recurring theme among what uh, an ensemble of researchers are putting forth. And when there is, that's the indication that you're onto something. And so I know how, when, and where to recognize when that's real. And you do so when there is the, the emergent truth. Here's a problem. The press will see A, and this happens in medicine all the time. The, I'm sorry, I don't mean to just <laughs> she's like recoil in here. I'm sorry, but I just, I just got excited to remember. It's like, all the time in medicine. One person publishes one research result, and then the press runs to that result and mm. says, oh, here's a new thing. Now cholesterol's good for you, all right? Or now cholesterol's bad for you. They're pivoting that on the one uh, research paper in the New England Journal of Medicine, and they're presuming that that is the new truth. In that is not the new truth. In fact, a third of all drugs are approved on the basis of a single pivotal trial. And so I'm saying there's got to be some, the emergent truth, where you say, here is the new reality, is when many more than one experiment give you the same result. And so, so that's how I and anyone should be approaching the moving frontier of science.